Hey girl and welcome to my channel. In today's video we are going to talk all about the fallopian tubes. It's a requested video and what you're gonna learn from this video. Uh, what are the symptoms of block fallopian tube? How do you know if you have them? Why do we have a block fallopian tubes all of a sudden? What are the treatments when it comes to surgery? And what are the natural treatments? Do they work? Are there any research what the science say about it? If this sounds interesting for you, keep on watching. So the block fallopian tube symptoms. This one is tricky because for one girls there will be literally no symptoms. Like for me, I didn't know I had blocked fallopian tubes. For some girls, it will be mild symptoms, especially during the sex. Some girls might observe the changes within the smell of vaginal discharge and those who feel the pain might be actually caused by hydrosulfix which is basically the buildup of the fluid inside the fallopian tubes as you know everybody is different body what is causing blocked fallopian tubes number one endometriosis endo is one of the most common causes of blocked fallopian tubes uh, because the endo tissue can grow literally everywhere it can uh, leave some scar tissue that can block your fallopian tubes so fibroids growth also affect the fallopian tubes it can be because of some sexual transmitted uh, infections such as gonorrhea or chlamydia and it can be because of the another surgery on the fallopian tubes so how the blocked fallopian tubes are diagnosed there are just two ways one which is the most common hsg is basically x-ray during the x-ray your doctor is gonna inject you inside your fallopian tubes with a dye so it's basically uh, give him a contrast uh, while performing the x-ray so he can see if the dye is going through your fallopian tubes but the problem with this is that many of them are false positive i had this test done and it turned out that i had uh, good fallopian tubes they are not blocked and i was so happy just to find out that uh, they were blocked because i had uh, ectopic pregnancy or it can be diagnosed by laparoscopy, but this is very invasive procedure. So the doctors tend to uh, look at it as the second option. So what is the treatment? So the number one is the surgery, which is laparoscopy. The good surgeon can actually remove damaged parts of the fallopian tubes and connect the good ones together, or he can unblock the fallopian tube. What about natural treatment? Do they work? There are two treatments that was actually proven to be successful and to be useful. First, it was Chinese herbal medicine. The study shows that the average pregnancy rate for those women who were using the Chinese medicine was 60% compared to just 33% of the women who were using only conventional Western medicine. And this is the link to the study. And plant used in this uh, Chinese medicine that was so effective is called the Dong Kwai. So just write it down. And another therapy that was successful was manual physical therapy. The treatment, according to this study, was successful in opening one or the both fallopian tubes in 17 from 28 women who participated. Locked fallopian tubes actually affect fertility because the fertilized eggs have to go all the way through the fallopian tubes. And if they are blocked, the eggs gonna literally stuck there, causing the ectopic pregnancy. Ectopic pregnancy had zero chance of survival. And very likely when they remove the ectopic pregnancy, they are going to remove your fallopian tubes with it. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and share it with everyone. I see you in next week. Bye.